We're from the New Tarot. And hey, what's up, indie witches? How's it going? Cool. It's good to be here. Yes, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having us. Born and raised in Connecticut. Nice. Both of us. Mm -hmm. And, um... Born in New York. Sorry, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, but we're both raised in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, and I moved to Brooklyn when I was 18, and... 19? Karen, you moved to Brooklyn when you were like 19, yep. We're two years apart. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I found that there was, a, you know, music to be made, and I wanted Karen to join me on a magical music making adventure <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's really good. It's, it's actually the best and I'm really proud that I can work with my family and like with like be so close to my sister and like you know, it's not like we don't get into fights, but you I know she, Karen loves me, <laughs> and I love Karen, so mm -hmm. it's really cool to have, like, a, I don't know, we've always been sisters, but we are also, like, work together in a professional capacity, and that's, like, really unique. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I see a lot of families that can't really, that don't really spend that much time together, and we spend so much time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, vacation time, <laughs> yeah. long time, we work together, and, like, mm -hmm. learning how to wear a bunch of different hats for each other and with each other and be like, okay, now we're in this environment, we have to do this thing. And we're still learning. <laughs> yeah, we're still kind of trying to get yeah. it I right, mean, but I think it's the life process. Mm -hmm. Any relationship is a working relationship. Yeah. There's never, mm -hmm. here's the plateau, like, yeah. everything will be smooth sailing from here on out. Like, mm -hmm. but it's good. At the top of every mountain is another mountain. Yes. It's totally. good because we're different. We're mm -hmm. not twins, that's for sure. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, we kind of like... When we don't agree on something, it's actually usually like a good thing because then we both can like pick out, you know, parts of it that we don't like. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, we were just trying to get a name. We were like, we <laughs> we're like this music, we want tearing our hair out. Do. <laughs> we have this band, we have a show mm -hmm. coming up. This was right in the beginning. And there was like a I, I, period yeah, just we just made lists and lists and lists of possible <laughs> names, and I was just like reading them off. But as soon as she came up, she came up with the the band name. As soon as she said it, we were like, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. something just clicked, and I, it just made sense. Yeah. Like, it, it felt like it had all the the colors of the palette that we wanted to work with, mm -hmm. you know. And that was really important for us to have a name that not just was like. I don't know, some silly name that mm -hmm. people are going to remember, but something that meant something to us mm -hmm. as well. Totally. And, yeah, I worked with the tarot cards for a while. It's something we can still play with. Yeah, and exactly. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, the whole idea is just kind of, um, you know, relating these ancient archetypes and kind of like a new mold, mm -hmm. like seeing what, they, what sense they make in this world. Mm -hmm. um, and that's always been part of our project. Nice. A lot. I would say so happily. Layers. Mm -hmm. Karen has contributed more of her voice as we go on, and that is for me. That's awesome because I have always been in awe of your songwriting. Oh my God. And um, <laughs> I think at the beginning it was hard for us to be like to match our platform with like how we just naturally wrote music. That's kind of mm -hmm. like a difficult. You know, you want to, like, be true to yourself, but you don't want to, like, go too overboard? I don't know how else to put it. And, like, you don't want to be too niche that, like, no one's going to hear you, mm -hmm. you know? Like, that's important. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we, we were, were finding our spot, like, our sweet spot between entertainment and art, and mm -hmm. that's kind of, like, where we want to be. Yeah, and, like, even with, like, uh, songwriting is definitely, it's always changing. Mm -hmm. we, we've been writing music since we were... Bitty bitty. Yeah. But uh, especially now, like the the way that we're putting out our music and like mm -hmm. producing our music has changed a lot. Like we've been. We've yeah, we've worked with a lot of producers over the years, but Karen's finally like, I believe at that stage where she's ready and we're really doing a lot of stuff that like on our own. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's been really rewarding. Um, and I, I that's definitely like where we're going with mm -hmm. this. Um, which is cool because it's really cool to be able to be in completely immersed in every single stage of the process. Yeah. Yeah, and the more that, 
we get to do it on our by ourselves mm -hmm. and like be able to do, like you know just feels like more of ours and more like something that we can like so so tangible to us and mm -hmm. just comes straight from us to the world like it's as less seems as possible is what was what I want mm -hmm. writing yeah. music putting it into the mm -hmm. world. Um, usually one of us will have like a, 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 an idea of a mm -hmm. song that's just been in, in their head or something they've been working on mm -hmm. and we'll like come together with all of those sketches, all of those ideas and um, for this album that's coming out in October, a lot of those songs are like two different melodies that we had like worked on and we kind of like just slammed them together and mm -hmm. like wove those pieces together and that that is like how some of our songs get written, but a lot of them are like, um, like pretty much all Karen, you know, it'll mm -hmm. be mostly Karen's song. And a lot of them is just like, like, it will be like mostly my stuff and then like Karen's like adding her stuff too. So we mm -hmm. kind of like, uh, I think we kind of like, but we kind of have equal, we have a, like equal representation in our, our, mm -hmm. our song library thus far. Yeah, and in this new album especially, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, you know, Karen's like doodling away upstairs and I'll just like yell up like, That sounds great! Please, <laughs> let's do this! Record that now! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, but mm -hmm. um, there was a, uh, a, a quite famous young man who was mm -hmm. interested in our band. Mm -hmm. um, and well, I thought he was, and he, uh, he tried to introduce me to like some people, and this was really early when we were starting out. I don't even know if you know the story. I'm like listening. But... Yeah, I don't even think I told you about this because it just like made me so upset. But well, uh -huh. basically, this guy um, approached me mm -hmm. as an artist, and I kind of found out like I just went to go see a show with him, and the only reason he was approaching me was because he wanted to get in the pants. Mm -hmm. And that was like, the, that was it. And when I yeah. made it clear that that was out of the question, mm -hmm. suddenly the interest in the band dropped, that he didn't really care, he didn't answer in my emails, and that was it, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, I just think it's like, I, I'm not like complaining so much about that, I just mm -hmm. think it's like a weird aspect. It's mm -hmm. a waste of your time. It's a waste of yeah. my and time and yeah, his time. time. Like, you know, you want genuine interest. Of yeah. course, and, like, yeah. Your time is, is valuable. Mm -hmm. and, like, if someone's interested in your music, you want to get it. And I think there is a certain mm -hmm. expectation of, like, a young woman trying to make it. Like, she's going to, A, be single, mm -hmm. and she's going to, B, do, do whatever she, it takes to get to the top, right? I mean, yeah. like, that's, like, a weird, mm -hmm. I just can't. I don't know. That's like I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, totally. I just want to play music and like have a good time. Mm -hmm. And um, the politics of that kind of structure really are not my cup of tea. Yeah, not my bag. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the flip side, like you know, we were just uh, like I was just walking around in a random city, and these like preteen girls were just like, you know, on the side of the road, and I, I don't know how we started getting into a conversation, but they like found out that I was in a band, and mm -hmm. I, I just showed them the website, and they got so excited. Mm -hmm. They were That's so awesome. excited that like, yeah. they, it, they didn't even care that I, I'm not like famous or anything, but mm -hmm. they were just like, wow, like, you could grow up and do what you want. Like, mm -hmm. that's what one of the girls said to me. She was like, I, I feel like I can do this now, mm -hmm. and that being a woman, I think, Mm -hmm. And affecting younger, the, the next generation, I think that's really special yeah. um, and, and something really sacred mm -hmm. that is, is really important to remember when, when if, if you're a female artist because you kind of, like I said, you've got the, like that weird industry push to be very sexual on mm -hmm. one side and on the other side you have like, you know, a little girl's going to see what you do and she's, you know, girls imitate and mm -hmm. so I think you have a responsibility to mm -hmm. kind of ignore that side mm -hmm. and kind of be bigger than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine, just put it out in the world. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't do it over, don't, mm -hmm. like, oh. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> just has to be good enough for you mm -hmm. and that's like what's important. Yeah. Yeah, and, and honestly just like trusting and, and believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. like, 
you know, it's, it's so easy to be like, oh, I should go see this professional and, and get help, or like mm -hmm. maybe I should ask this person, because the way that I think that it is good mm -hmm. might not be really actually right. good. Like yeah. your heart's like, oh, this feels right, and your uh -huh. head's like, something has to be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It just can't be this easy. Uh -huh. like, but sometimes it's that easy. That's another lesson. Sometimes yeah. it is easy. Sometimes yeah. you don't have to overthink things. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of have to, to, to reach for what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's the best advice I can give. It's nice. just like, just do it. Just yeah. go for it. Because mm -hmm. like, rip the band-aid, like, okay, so you, you spent like a few years of your life doing something you love. Is that like really the worst thing that could happen? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Nice. That's, It was, I've had three in my whole life. Nice. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, one. The first one was chocolate chip cookie dough Good one. with rainbow sprinkles. Nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, two. I counted rainbow sprinkles as an ice cream. That um, <laughs> <laughs> can count. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then two is cashew caramel ice cream. Ooh, Ooh fancy. That's very good. That's nice. I ate a pint of it last night. Wow, Amazing. very good. <laughs> Just last night? Yeah, last night. I gotta say, I was a big fan of um, Gold Medal Ribbon mm. by Baskin Robbins. Yes. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, I remember you ordering that. <laughs> I, I used to get it in a milkshake, so oh, I was yeah. like, what's the point? But <laughs> I would get sprinkles in the milkshake when I got milkshakes, though. What? You don't remember Dang. that? That's so gross. That's so gross. <laughs> How much sugar do you need? <laughs> All of it. Wow. <laughs> you know, we used to have a group. We used to be ghost hunters. Nice. In camp. Remember, Karen? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a house down the street from us mm -hmm. that, uh, wow. Do you want to hear the legend? Yes. Okay. So basically. <laughs> <laughs> The legend of this house down the street from us, from where we grew up, mm -hmm. is that there were well, this old couple, mm -hmm. and the uh, the man in the relationship mm -hmm. uh, became senile, mm -hmm. and the woman, instead of getting him help, mm -hmm. she locked him in the attic, and she wouldn't let anybody like know because she it was mm -hmm. like an, it was like back in the day. This was in the fifties or something. Yeah. She was like embarrassed. Anyway, so he died in the attic, and the legend is is that the that his ghost still haunts this house. Uh -huh. And it it, it it was weird because the house was all overgrown. There was yeah. a big sign like "Don't cross." It was. It's still there. It's, it's still, still there, and you still That's nobody creepy. lives there. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we threw a rock into the top window, mm -hmm. and it came back out. <gasps> wow. Swear to God. Swear. I swear on my life, son. That's that's the that was. <laughs> That was an early ghost hunting experience yeah. for us. Yeah, we <laughs> screamed and went home. Like, ah! <laughs> I've never been so terrified. That's it was crazy. funny. Growing up. So many. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, right off the bat, oh. I think I've said this every time someone's asked me this, but mm -hmm. it's Flaming Lips. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Specifically, Yoshimi Battles of Pink Robots. We listen to that. We listen to that in the nice. car all yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. and, like, I would formulate, like, a whole story of the album and, like, the, yes. the movie sequence Big of what, what yeah. happened. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. They're so good. Um, Definitely Bjork. We oh also listened to a so lot of Bjork when we were growing up. And Madonna. That was and a lot of Madonna. Uh -huh. Um. But ELP, definitely Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Nice. Yeah, our dad's big mm -hmm. ELP guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. So good. Really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's the so many people. Mm -hmm. Classic. But then you know what? I'm going to be real, you guys. Avril Lavigne. Oh, yeah, great. Come on, Michelle Branch, yeah. Vanessa Carlton. Yes. Gotta break it down for my girls back then. Mm -hmm. that, they were a big influence on me. Yeah. Maybe not musically now, mm -hmm. but definitely like culturally. And yeah. Like, definitely I mean, like, oh, they I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's. Yeah, I, I didn't sure. hear songs like that like before Avril Lavigne. Like, yeah. like oh my god, he yeah, was she's a skater been... boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Yes. Gotta look yeah, she was prom. <laughs> she was the uh, tomboy. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was really important back then. That yeah. that, that, that tomboy kind of scene was like very influential and mm -hmm. kind of how I think of what it means to be feminine in general, mm -hmm. for sure. Nice. Oh my god. 
Um, LPR is really nice. Mm -hmm. so you know what? I, really I like love LPR. I love Union Pool. That's Union Pool Hall line. is a fun. That is that's a, a fun place to play. Yeah, it's all yeah. like a wild party. <laughs> Definitely, it's a crazy <laughs> place. Oh my god! There was someone being like arrested there. Oh, yeah. It was like there was a big fight outside the entrance <laughs> while we were playing, and that was really fun. Mm -hmm. It's just entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly beautiful, happy experience. No, there was yeah. also that going on. It was fun though. It was kind of funny. I just thought of this right up as you asked mm -hmm. this. Um, I've been listening to Postcard to Nina mm -hmm. by Jens Lechman. Mm -hmm. Do you know it? Oh, it's just been stuck in my head. But, um, that's, that's a good answer. Nice. I probably say, oh, I can't stop listening to Bess Edme right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bess Edme mucho. That's <laughs> so good. Nice. We in October. Do, okay, we have. No, wait, September 16th. Mm -hmm. But that's still up in the air. We're very up in the air, kind of last minute kind of people, yeah. unfortunately. But I think September 16th is our next show. Cool. And then October, sometime around Halloween, we're doing I like a. Date. I forget the date, but mm -hmm. we're doing a big old another show. But Fun. Cool. So, yeah, if you're in New York, come out and see us. Mm -hmm. Our website is usually updated mm -hmm. with good stuff. Yeah, we have a mailing list on our website. Amazing. And that'll just pop up so you can sign right up. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's a secret blog on our website. So Ooh. if you find it, you get Not so extra secret. points. <laughs> cool. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so you're going to. Truth is, this is ending, dear. You should know by now while you've been gone. I'm stepping out. Thought you'd understand this. You should know since change, we weren't fooling anyone, anyway. You already know who you will run to You'll always find a pair of arms to hold you Saying it's okay And baby, that ain't me Do you even care where I might run to? You cry and call my name I want to trust you begging me to stay, but babe, that's no longer me. Amazing. Yeah. Bye. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you so much. Bye. We're chilling with us. Have a beautiful life. <laughs>